I tell you what I would say to them. I would ask them, how many Palestinians need to die for every Israeli who was killed? And when does it end? When does it end? What do you think God would be asking you now? When will you stop? When will you end? I understand that you feel hurt by the action that was taken by Hamas against Israelis. I understand that. And I think that was a violent act. I'm going to speak now for myself. That was a violent act. As I understand it, it was an act of resistance. But let's, let's not assume it's an act of resistance, just a violent act. Mm -hmm. But it does have also its own mm -hmm. reasons. Do you want to support a war where children are being starved to death? Do you want to support a war where 2,000-pound bombs are dropped on people who are living in a densely populated area and indiscriminately kill a baby and an adolescent and an old person. At the heart of Judaism is a deep, profound commitment to the inherent divine given spark that exists in every human being and that we are commanded to pursue, to honor that image of God in each of these faces. This is God is here, right here. We can see God in each other's faces and in each and every person on this earth. And that the Torah that we have and the holy books that other peoples have all are focused on peace. When we put the Torah back in the... I was thinking about this last night. When we put the Torah back in the ark, we take out the Torah, we learn from the Torah, we're inspired by the Torah, and then we say it's a tree of life to all who hold fast to it. Everyone who upholds this Torah is given happiness, is given fulfillment in their life. All its paths are going to lead to pleasant, to pleasantness. And all of its pathways lead to peace. So it's a Torah of peace. And the Torah of peace will prevail.